Yeah, there seems to be more than there were when we left. Oh. Oh, look at it, dude. They're just like, what? Dude, look at this bluegill. It's about, it's about to eat that hornet. Oh, he got it. Now we're gonna pull off some of these larvae, some of these wasps. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Look at that, fish on. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. So I just got to Connecticut. I'm in Thomaston, Connecticut. I'm staying at Branch Brook Campground. This place is absolutely gorgeous. Branch Brook runs right along the backside of it. So I literally have my trailer parked right up against the brook. Might do a little exploratory fishing in there. I hear that there's some trout in there, maybe a couple other species. Branch Brook Campground is super nice. It's got laundry facilities, it's got a pool, super easy to get in and out of the sites. It's got really nice hookups, really nice facilities. This is really kind of a perfect place to stay. We're near New York, not that far from New York City. Uh, so really lots of things to do, great area, really centralized location, and the staff has just been incredible so far. Cannot say enough about Rick and Jody. Thank you guys for everything. But yeah, so we're going to do a little fishing with Jesse Minoski, which you guys might remember him from the Zamp solar panel install. Going to go fishing with him tomorrow, and I'll see you guys there. I got to finish getting kind of unloaded and uh, set up here at Branch Brook Campground. Jesse started loading up the gear. I want to discover maybe the biggest hornet's nest of my uh, I've ever seen on the underside of this this post here on the boat. And now here we are, two grown men debating whether to burn it down or go buy some spray and try to kill these things. But these are giant hornets. He's calling them white faced. I don't even know what that means. I am not a fan of bees in general. Look at this. And this is not an abandoned nest. There is heavy traffic in and out of this gigantic nest. All right, just ran over here to Ace Hardware. It's Sunday, so they don't open until nine. We just sat in the car for half an hour. Now we're gonna buy a wasp spray and give this a shot. It's the worst that could happen. Oh, here we go. Flying insect out. <laughs> I mean, you know, joke aside, if, if we have extra rolls, leave them on the boat. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. For that's, the next time. Uh, that this happens. This is gonna be horrible. It's gonna be an interesting day. So that's Jesse uh, getting rid of all his valuables in case the worst happens and we are forced to jump into the water to escape these these bees. Yeah, there seems to be more than there were when we left. Oh, they know, bro. That look, they're all coming back in like to re look at them. They legit look more like they know something's coming, dude. They're yeah. preparing for battle, bro. Yeah, I'm scared. That's fear. I'm feeling. I feel good. I feel confident. Do yeah. you? I feel right, Brian. I feel right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, look at it, dude. They're just like, what? Ew, it's just melting into nothing. There's still so many in there. Look at them all. There's so many. Carnage. Ooh. What's the worst that could happen? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't answer that. I think we've eradicated most of the issue. Dude, look at this bluegill. It's about, it's about to eat that hornet. Look, watch, watch. Oh, he got it, dude. He got it. All right, so that just changed the game. So we're gonna... Jesse just fetched the uh, nest that we threw in the water. And now we're gonna pull off some of these larvae, some of these wasps, and see if we can't uh, have a little fun with some bluegill before we head out. Working our way up the weirdest food chain of, of all time. <laughs> Poison-covered hornets. Money bluegill bait. He was looking at it, dude. Those are some big bluegill. Yeah, they were gigantic. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Look at that, fish on. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> On the hornet larvae covered in wasp spray. That's a baby, though. There were some mondos in there, dude. Giant. Look wasp. at them. Yeah, dude. There they are. Oh, man. 
That was awesome. We gonna need more wasps. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, ravenous dude. I'm gonna laugh when all these guys start floating up from eating all this poison. Look at it oiling off of these things as we drop yeah, them. Here, big boy. Poison covered wasp, delicacy for sunfish. Everyone knows that. Let's see if uh, can't get some of these bigger ones. Look at that, <laughs> got them. <laughs> the second it hit the water, they rushed at it. Dude, that is hilarious, bro. We didn't even know it. We thought we were just killing wasps. We were getting bait. <laughs> Little sunfish. There's some big boys down there, though. We just, they can't seem to beat these guys to the punch. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need like a bigger one or something to last for a second or weed through these smaller guys. Oh, look at me like flinching like it's gonna come at me. They're all dead. Right, and he looks super dead. I want to like sight cast to the good ones, man. Come back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a different species. I don't really know much about sunfish. Those are big sunfish, like either way. All right, that's not even right. <laughs> Slaying the bluegills this morning, you guys. Arms getting sore, feeling the fatigue, but uh, we're gonna keep after it. With the serious baiting. Bigger is better, I guess. Double baiter. Just make sure the hook point's exposed or they're never gonna be able to get it in their mouth. He's not sure, he's like, oh, big guy got it. Got him! <laughs> Set up size the bait, bro. Look at the size of that sunfish. Epic Connecticut sunfishing with poisoned wasps. <laughs> sunfish is wearing them out right now. That all worked out pretty well. Let's see if we can get one right in front of the camera. <laughs> You're good at getting these big ones, dude. I'm telling you, man. Hopefully that. Oh, he's pissing on me. Jesse Minoski, uh, Sunfish Charters, coming soon, 2019. <laughs> on the Sun Cruiser. On the Sun Cruiser. Sun fishing on the Sun Cruiser, dude. On, on, fish on, fish on. God, Jesse Minoski, the, the Sunfish Whisperer over here. I gotta do one more. A little live shiner right here on the dock, right by the boat. We have a feeling this is not going to take too long at all. <laughs> wow. Small mouth. Wow. Small mouth. Smally? Small mouth. No way, dude. <laughs> he came immediately. Dude, he <laughs> annihilated it, bro. The second it hit the water. <laughs> Look at this. Look how fat he is. Over here just gorging under the dock. <laughs> nice, dude. Dude. Epic right. dock fishing in Connecticut. Now that we've uh, dialed in the bluegill bite, uh, we have Jesse caught a bass. I just uh, missed what I think was a pretty decent bass. Let's see. Yep, yep. Got him. <laughs> Dude. The dock that just keeps on giving. Stop, man. Non-stop action here at the dock, you guys. Haven't even got on the boat yet. We've each got a bass. We've each got multiple sunfish. Uh, you know, sometimes when life gives you lemons, a little hornet infestation, make the best of it. Catch some fish anyway. Maybe we're about to fire out the boat. We'll go see if we can actually get on some decent fish, but uh, not a bad way to spend uh, what we thought was a pretty disastrous morning. So much fun, man. I'm already having already having a blast. Thanks, buddy. Like a really, really good trout fishery. Lake trout, rainbow trout. Uh, there's some brown trout in here, but not a ton. Uh, it's got a great smallmouth fishery being that clear, that deep. Awesome largemouth. There's some good pickerel in here. I've never seen any pike, but I've heard there's pike. If this wind dies down today, hopefully we should be able to find yeah. a little bit more as far as like bigger fish. Well, luckily we're in the ideal vessel, pontoon boat, trolling motor on the on the back perfect for bass fishing um in the wind in the wind should be set up pretty well these pontoon boats little known fact they actually catch no wind it's weird like the way it's aerodynamic the wind just passes right over them it's crazy yeah no that's not true it's a tank it's a tank but it works it's gonna get the job done it's floating engines running and the bees are dead. we're loaded up with hornet bait <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
small bass. They're schooling. They're blitzing. There we go. <gasps> no! Nice. All right. Well, first fish off the boat. Oh, oh man. Pop hook. Oh, I had him on. I had that one on. Saw that. It's a big one, bro. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Oh my god. Keep his head down. Keep his head down. Keep his head down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. High stick. High stick. High stick. High stick. God. Oh, and it came off in my hands, bro. I just got a scale. The old tree bass, the old tree pounder, the old limb brim. No? That was a good one. I'll give you that one. Sweet. Limb brim was a good one. one out of three ain't bad. Sorry in advance when this hook set knocks yeah, you off the fun. boat, dog. I just got bit, bro. I just got bit. I think low light, man, they're probably cruising. Not sticking tight to cover. Once that sun gets up a little more, I think they'll be up in the wood and the grass, but the school going? Oh, come on, man. We had the bait, bait school. We had the bait ball. The live target bait ball, dog. Fish don't hit crankbaits so if they only look like one fish. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Gotta make those look like three fish. I've seen three busts up in this slot back here. This is our moment. I'm feeling infinitely better now though, dude. I think in here, the big bass are anywhere but in this main channel. Like, this is where all the boat traffic is. This is where the least cover is. I, again, I can't believe we're not catching dinks out here, but I think the big bass are like up in it. Oh. Yeah, dude, you can reach that. I can't. Yeah, dude. No, right. Oh, that I'm a bitch, I'm a lover isn't even Alanis. Meredith Brooks? What the fuck is that? This whole time I thought this was Alanis. My whole life is a lie. This is definitely it, too. Brown, brown. World today, brown, brown. Even softer side, brown, brown. I'm gonna pull out the All six wrapped pounder. into it's one. Yep. I can't believe this is not Alanis Morissette. Am I like, questioning my whole childhood now? Everything. Wouldn't want it any other way. Here's the other hand. Let me tell you guys a little bit about our day today. So, you guys saw the Hornet incident, the Hornet debacle, handled that. Then we started wearing the fish out on Hornet larvae and dead Hornets covered in wasp spray poison. I'm just thinking, well, if they're eating this, it's gonna be an easy day, we're gonna wear them out. Since then, we have been fishing for the last, I'd say six hours with nothing to show for it. Not even a chain picker, we've gotten a few hits. But we have thrown everything that we know to throw. I mean, we've worked the fluke, we've worked Senkos, we've worked curly tail worms, like eight different craws. I was throwing a rattle trap, the square bill. We tried spinner baits, we tried chatter baits. What else did we try? Dude, we top water frog. Top water for... frog for two and a half, three, four hours. I don't even know. Got a couple blow ups there, but the bass were missing it. We have tried everything. We fished shallow, we fished deep, we fished 10 feet, 18 feet, 30 feet. Yeah. Two feet, we've tried everything that I know to do to catch a bass. He told me we should come here because every time he comes here, it's just stupid easy and we're they're wearing the fish out. Today, that is not the case. We've talked about six other boats. None of them had anything to show for except for maybe one or two dinks. Um, these fish are just, I don't know, lock jawed or someone poisoned the lake or maybe they had a freeze. Jesse lives in Florida now. You guys seen him in episodes down in Florida. So he hasn't fished this in a year or two and uh, something has changed because we cannot catch a fish, you guys. Like, we are physically incapable of catching a fish today. I can't believe it, running out of time. Uh, really, I'm running out of time, like in Connecticut. I was really hoping to kind of bang this out. Be a quick episode, start off with some cool content for you guys with the Hornet uh, war. And now here we are just skunking so i don't even know if you guys are going to see this because if we can't manage to stick a couple fish this will go into the archives of failed fishing trips for rob here <laughs> uh, yeah in fact i think last time you guys saw jesse he was drilling like holes in my 
bedroom and my trailer for no reason. So perfect haul. It's kind of like a trend going on here with the these unsuccessful haul. videos. I don't know exactly. I can't put my finger on, on what it is, but something can't figure it out. Just isn't working. Yeah, just um, really whenever I get together with Jesse, yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, I haven't figured it out, but yeah, one of these days we will. Though. I'm sure you guys have had days like this where it just seems like it doesn't matter what you do. The fish have either all disappeared or all got together at like their monthly club meeting and decided we're not going to eat on Thursday. But um, comment below. Let me know what you would do in this situation when you think you've thrown everything. What is like your go to like I just need a fish. I don't care what it is. What would you throw? Let me know. Comment below. I'll reply to everyone. I need some ideas. We're out of we're out of ideas over here. But we're uh, resorting to hitting docks with a uh, wacky Senko. He's throwing a Texas rig Senko, so we're just kind of committing to that. See if we can't pick up a fish or two on our way in. Yeah, brutal. The level of hope has dwindled to about none. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, pretty much right there. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, it's a fish! It's a fish! It's not big. Not big. It's a pickerel. <laughs> there are fish in this lake! <laughs> Getting desperate over here, man. Better than nothing at this point. <laughs> we have been trying to catch a fish. Tell me that's the monster today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you, I've never been more excited about something like this. We have been grinding this place out to an unreasonable degree. And there's a fish off the pontoon boat in Lake Quasi. That is a chain pickerel. Not a very big one. Not a very strong one. But it's a fish. We got a fish. <laughs> Something. No. It's been a tough day, you guys. Love when I... Yep. Fish. <sighs> That's a bass. Oh my God, it's a bass. It's a bass. <laughs> it's a bass. I hear the echo. Oh, oh Lake knows it's got a bass. They exist, bro. Oh my God. I skipped that way back up in there, almost to the bank, under that dock between the pontoon boat. And there it is on the wacky Senko, Old Faithful. Oh look, something's gotten this guy. Pass something got him. Bird talon or something? Damn, yeah. You guys, I realize it's not the biggest bass in the world, but this may be my favorite bass of all time. We have been grinding this place out. Just got a little chain pickerel, and there is my first Connecticut bass. If I hide my fingers, does it look, does it look bigger? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, really yeah, like you're that? holding it out pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yep. Oh, Just... man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, it feels good. I'm sure you all can relate. We've all had the struggle. Struggle is real today. We were riding the struggle bus. That's the name of the boat now. <sighs> Gentle release. Thank you. I love you. Oh my God, they exist. I feel so much better. Woo! Getting on them. Wearing them out here in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> Slay fest. Unbelievably difficult day. If we catch fish here, they're gonna be like, so you got off the dock onto the pontoon boat to fish the dock. Yes. Yep, yep, fish. <laughs> oh, no. Just take me through what the hell just happened. I was talking to you, man. I was talking to you and then I boat flipped him and uh, he wasn't as heavy as I thought he was. But uh, the good news is they're getting smaller. So we got that going for us. And how far are we from the dock? A long, a long way. We're, mm -mm. I mean, I got them on these rocks. No, the dive. It's totally different. It's totally these different. rocks. That, that's where. We, yeah. We definitely weren't giving up just now, and. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'd say about three and a half, four. I'd easily a five pounder. Yeah, I mean, at least four. Let's you know. All right, we'll call. Let's be we'll, conservative. We'll call it what it is. Let's be conservative. This place is hard. What a day, what a day. Epic day here on Lake Quasi, Lake Cool Hog. Well guys, I'd say it's safe to say if you came here looking for an epic day of fishing, you were sorely disappointed. 
Jesse's reverted back to catching fish with the Hornets. Desperate Literally. times, call for desperate measures. But yeah, you know, we've all had those days where it didn't go according to plan, but uh, the bluegill hornet bite is on fire. Bass didn't cooperate, we caught a couple, a couple small ones, got a chain pickerel, but uh, you know, that's just the way fishing goes sometimes. They can't all be winners. Not bad though. <laughs> Despite that super fun day fishing here with my good buddy Jesse Minoski. Uh, not the epic day we were hoping for, but at the end of the day, we had a great time. Sometimes you gotta just kind of make the best of it. Bad circumstances, you know, slaughter a bunch of hornets, then use them for bait and catch some fish at the dock. Just in case you go out and can't catch a damn thing when you get out on the lake. But all in all, guys, if this is your first time watching my videos, uh, rest assured, normally the fishing goes extraordinarily better, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. That's why they call it fishing and not catching, which is one of my least favorite sayings of all time. Because people always say it when you had a terrible day and you didn't catch anything. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode of Field Trips. Hope you found it at least slightly entertaining. I'd still like to hear what you would have done today. See if you could have caught maybe a bass bigger than 12 inches. But uh, yeah, time for me to get back. Get back to work. Follow Jesse on Instagram. Links down in the description. He's going to be running charters soon in southwest Florida around Fort Myers, Cape Coral area. So look him up. Links in the description. Yeah, don't hire me from up here. Yeah. <laughs> don't hire yeah. me from up here. He's much better fishing south Florida than he is on this lake. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. Made the best of a bad day. Not much more you can do, man. We caught fish on hornets. Caught fish on hornet larva. That's a new one. And hornets. That's a new one. Anyone else ever done something like that? Harvested your own bait in a weird way? I'd like to hear about that too. Comment down below. We gotta get out of here. We got work to do. Let's, they're yeah, still I'm around, here. bro. Right, yeah. still Go around. around. Look, he's still looking for his home. He's up under there. Yeah. Straggler hornets, nine hours, eight hours later. Still trying to find their home. They're all still confused. Relentless, these guys.